get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of RX Bars, Hint Water, P90X, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25 hosts in-person VIP events and masterminds for top entrepreneurs all over the country, including many events in the e-commerce industry. We hosted this past year events in Austin, Chicago, Santa Barbara, San Diego, New York, Sonoma, Las Vegas, probably more I'm forgetting, uh, probably a city near you. If you see the value of immersing yourself with other top entrepreneurs to connect and collaborate to get your business to the next level, I know Eddie does because he goes to tons of conferences. Um, Go to rise25.com, contact us to find out when and where our next event is going to be. And I'm very excited. You know, not many people who I interview are also uh, local in Chicago. Today we have Eddie Levine, co-founder and ho- of a wholesale e-commerce and brand management company, which he started in 2012 with his business partner, Greg Gilpin. They have created a multi-million dollar e-commerce operation in a very short period of time. And they specialize in purchasing products directly from manufacturers, distributors, and brand owners warehouse them all under their own roof and sell on various channels. They also, like I mentioned, do brand management, which is probably everything under the sun for a brand, I imagine. So we'll talk about that. Um, If he weren't busy enough, he has an information and consulting arm of his e-commerce business, um, which is you can find it at wholesalebreakthrough.com where he teaches others how to tap into the business opportunity. And we'll talk about that and about how there's no set way to do this type of business and how he structured that piece. Um, And in his limited free time, uh, he's also director of operations for the nonprofit Last for the Troops, which helps raise funds to help increase awareness of traumatic brain injuries and PTSD. He's also going to be traveling to D.C. because he does um, judging of DECA Nationals, which is what, an entrepreneur trip. An entrepreneurship competition, right? Yes. Youth, youth business organization, so high school students. So, Eddie, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. How did you structure Wholesale Breakthrough from the information piece? Yeah, so so Wholesale Breakthrough is the consulting arm of our operation, right? It's it's where people can come to, learn, you know, they join our Facebook group, or they go on our website, wholesalebreakthrough.com, and they, and they learn more about us and the business that we've built, right? Um, and... Here's what here's what here's here's what I thought. I've seen over the last, especially two or three years, when I when I participated on panels or as a speaker, a lot of people ask me for advice on this business or or to teach them or coach them and and help them with with what they're doing, right? And so I looked into it and I and I kind of took a a, a, a back seat on that for a long time. I thought about it, and there are yeah so because you are front and center and you are, you know. I'm, Speaking I'm a, a lot I'm on the speaking side, but yeah. not on the. I haven't been on the on the course slash consulting side purposely. Um, yeah. But Why? what I but what I what I realized is that there's no one right way to do this business. So rather than sell you a course for a thousand two thousand dollars, whatever it is, and say here's my go to proven way of doing this business, which you know try it and try it and hopefully you succeed. Um, I said, hey, let me just offer myself out as a resource to somebody who's trying to build a business as a expert, both Greg and myself are resources. And that's what we created own your breakthrough, which is hashtag own your breakthrough. It's the, it's the premium, the premier um, e-commerce uh, community that we've developed under wholesale breakthrough. So it's a low monthly fee, 70 bucks a month. You have access to myself and Greg as your dedicated resources for any question related to either wholesale e-commerce, Amazon, multi-channel, whatever. Um, and we'll answer anything, anything you have. Um, in addition to that, we have made partnerships with a lot of the service providers in the industry to give you discounts on the things that you either already use or would want to use in your business. So it almost pays for itself. Um, so what we see it is, Hey, you know, we make our money obviously on the subscription. We're giving you a benefit by giving you all these, giving you our knowledge and also the, um, partner offers. Uh, it's a win-win on both sides. Yeah. It's not costing an arm and a leg either. Yeah, I'm, how did you decide on that that pricing? Because it seems like someone's doing wholesale; it's almost like a no-brainer 
I mean, subtract the all the benefits. Like I'm looking at it right now. There's um, an offer. Like if someone has a free suspension prevention, you know, assessment, which is valuable. Of eGrowth Partners is a 10 percent off tax charge. Is a 10 percent off inventory lab. There's free. Sh- there's free shipping options on Uline. There's you know freight joy legit. There's merchant words. All this stuff. So minus all of that, yep. your time's valuable. You're super busy. Yep. Um, how do you decide on that? Because some, I mean, it's someone doing wholesale. They they could ask you one question, and it could be worth like ten years of this. And you know what? I hope they do. I hope they do honestly, because th- that way I know they've succeeded, and and I've I've actually done my part to help help another business owner succeed. It's more about you know giving back to the community and helping somebody than just making money for me. I, I've yeah. always been. Right? Who is a good fit for this? Like um, at what level? What level? I would say anyone from your entry level to your intermediate to looking to expand to try to get onto different platforms or really try to um, build a relationship with a brand manufacturer, trying to get more exclusives, you know, really anyone. Um, I, I, I've, I've had people approach me who um, have been in the wholesale business for two, three years and have done several million dollars who, for whatever reason, they're, they're looking for help in a certain area and they know we can help them and they, they come to us, right? Um, but before Own Your Breakthrough, one thing I was offering was hourly consulting and we would talk for an hour just like this and we'd answer the questions, but you know, that was fine. But a lot of times someone wouldn't need to answer, need to take up the entire hour and they didn't, they wouldn't have, you know, that much to ask about. Right. So I said, Hey, if I can give this community, uh, make this community available for, for relatively inexpensive price, you know, it's, it's inexpensive because I'm not giving you, I've not developed a course, a, a specific formula of, of, of that I'm going to teach you uh, something that you're going to buy and retain and watch over and over again, right? This is only going to be successful if you're willing to ask the questions, come to us for help, tell us about your business, you know, get the feedback that you need to grow because if you're just going to be in the, in the community, sign up for it and just watch. I mean, you can do that, but I don't feel that you use it to your best potential. The more you ask, the better you're going to get value wise out of the program. Yeah, totally. Um, Eddie, first of all, thank you so much. I have uh, two last questions, but uh, I really appreciate your time. And everyone should check out wholesalebreakthrough.com. Check out what he has going on. And he speaks um, all over the country. Um, I can't even keep track of your schedule. I don't know how you do. Um, So if you are going to a a conference, e-commerce, otherwise, look out for him and say hello and thank him for the information because he does put out a lot of really great information online. Um, two questions, um, I always ask is one, um, since it's inspired insider, what's been a low moment in the business? And then two, what's been a really proud moment milestone that you were able to accomplish? Oh, geez. Um, a low moment. You can't count this this morning. You know, (laughs) this morning does not count. Um, (laughs) no, I, I mean, um, Okay, I'll give you a low moment. Low moment. So I'll preface this by saying that your low moments in your business they're going to happen much more often than you think. There are, if not every day, at least during the week, some point that I'm. I think myself, I'm so done with this. I'm out. This is not. Is <laughs> yeah. all is all possible. But you know what? It's part of business. Um, so low moment, low moment I can specifically think of is when we were trying to expand from our last warehouse and we had found a location that we thought was going to be great. I, I saw it like four or five times we had all had it all mapped out did a ton of work for it you know figured out where everything was going to go figure out our cost analysis everything we go to put in uh go to sign another contract and get the paperwork going it was leased to somebody else so now i'm in a position where i'm my lease on my current space is expiring i don't want to renew it because it's not sufficient for us and now i have to start all over again while i'm trying to build my business and try to find a different space which i didn't know if it was available to me so it's you have to scramble the, big time with that it's scramble and it's defeating because you know you want to grow but these things get in the way and then you feel like you're restrained you can't you can't go forward right um so that was definitely a low moment because it, it took another three four or five months for me to get to me to find this place that i have now um and, and you know do all the work involved to 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 build it out and to set it up how i see fit and, and figure out what that was going to cost me but um, it really slowed me down in the summer of 2015, I think it was, um, when we were looking to move because that's like all I was focusing on day in and day out during the summer months. And it was just really a drag. So 
that was one of them. That's a little. I've one. I've ex- it's painful. I've been through something similar. It's a painful experience. What about um, proud moment milestone that you hit that you were especially proud of? Um, honestly, I go back to to myself as being an entrepreneur who likes to give back. Right when I when I was working my corporate job. Uh, I told myself, hey, you know, I want to work for myself, but I want to, I don't want to do it unless I can get back to others and help others along the way. So the fact that I can look back today and I can say, hey, I'm working for myself. I have my own business. I don't have a regular job I have to go to. But at the same time, I can, I can have the luxury of traveling almost whenever I want to all these conferences, vacations, whatever you want, you know, to do. Um, and, or, or I can volunteer my time at, at schools or with DECA, the, the national competition, and I can give my expertise to somebody else to try to help them, guide them along that same path. That's a milestone for me because I, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't truly feel successful unless you're able to um, send the letter back down, if you will, and help somebody else. It's more than just about your own success. Talk about Last for the Troops for a yeah. second. So Last for the How'd Troops. How'd you get involved with that? Yeah, so when I was on a, a cruise ship vacation, um, gee, I want to say it was uh, around 2014, if I'm if I got that right, I have to check the dates. But um, I went to I went to a comedy show and uh, that they had and saw the comedian and I noticed at the end of the show he says, hey, you know, um, I run this organization called Laugh for the Truth. We're just getting it off the ground, um, and you know we help we help injured soldiers and uh, for, with so, those suffering from PTSD with with through some of their troubles. And we try to raise money for them. And, uh, you know, the military causes have always been close to me because I feel they give a lot and we owe them a lot in return. Um, so I approached him, you know, a- after the after the cruise is over and I said, hey, um, you know, tell me more about the organization. I want to get involved. Here's some more about me. Um, became really good friends with with the with the, um, uh, the the head of that organization and ended up traveling to to several events throughout the country, both in uh, like in Colorado and Florida doing some uh, charity fundraisers and you know obviously it's it's a volunteer work for me it's 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 you know giving some time but um the satisfaction that you get when you see uh people benefiting from your hard work is is you, you can't even describe you know when i went to to the event in, in colorado for example uh i stood outside my hotel room and i still and i still remember this to this day um they had a climbing wall that they had set up right outside the um right outside the hotels for the winter olympics that they were hosting there um the uh for those for those for that group of people and um this guy was wheelchair bound and had uh one leg and he was able to do this climbing wall by himself wow and i have a video of it somewhere i have to, I have to dig it up but to watch that right and to think wow you know we think we have problems as regular humans if this guy can do that defying all odds you know it just gives you an, another sense of motivation totally whether you run with it, it puts things in perspective, right? Sure, for sure. Well, if you find that video, I'll clip it onto the end of this. Yeah, I can. I'll do you have it, it somewhere? I do. Yeah, I gotta find it. I don't know if it's on my phone or my computer, but I do have it. Yeah. Well, we'll want to preserve it, so send it, and uh-huh. we'll we'll clip it on the end of this, and that would yeah. be really cool. Um, so thanks for sharing that, by the way. That's I love hearing those stories, and you know, the ultimate reason why you do this is also because you want to perpetuate um, and, you know, you uh, give your expertise away. Um, I've seen it in many, many uh, instances with you and in, to the next generation, too. What's the best idea you've heard at, at one of these DECA competitions? Um, so last year I was at the Collegiate DECA com- competition in uh, Anaheim, and this guy who he wasn't in he wasn't a regular college student because collegiate deca can be anyone from any age group anyone who's in college right so he can be a little bit older um and he had come out with some kind of he had like a basically a, a system where when you're shopping for clothes online what's the biggest thing that you have uh, an issue with right it's sizing and you don't know what it how it's going to fit right um basically this this would design a system to where your 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 measurements and your overall shape, right? Would the the vendor or the the uh, person the store you're buying it from knew exactly what kind of size you were, and without even you having to try it on, hmm. uh, it's hard to explain. It's without some kind of it, AI technology or something. Or something. Like, like you could order the products, it would know what your size were, and it was almost like a guaranteed fit, if you will. Um, 
and the success rate that they were targeting was like 95 plus percent. It was crazy. So obviously wow. it didn't, it didn't uh, reduce the fact that you might not like how it felt because it's obviously a little bit diff- more difficult, but it really limited the, the size issue. Hmm. Uh, instead of saying, hey, are you small, medium, large, extra large, or whatever, um, it was more customized to you as a person. So, um, you know, you get your measurements and then all the stores would know exactly how, how, their, how their specific line or their specific product would fit you. And it was almost like eliminated the returns process because one of the biggest issues with uh, clothing retailers um, is the cost for them is the returns aspect of people who didn't like the size, right? So that he figured, well, if I can eliminate that risk a little bit, and if I can save them even a fraction of what they're currently spending in return costs, it adds up to billions of dollars a year. So he's like, if I can perfect this software, mm. this, this type of system, uh, I can make a lot of money. And it was one of those things that, you know, you were sitting there trying to judge him and critique him and fill out the form. And at the same time, you're thinking, wow, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so. Cool. Eddie, I want to be the first one to thank you. Everyone check out wholesalebreakthrough.com and uh, hopefully I'll see you in Chicago. Thanks so much. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.